Hi, today we're going to talk about the difference between the chain of command, NCO support channel, and a little bit about the AGR system. Now, if you're an E6 and below in the National Guard, you're probably sitting there going, come on top, I know all that stuff. All right, high speed, I got a dollar says that 60% chances are you don't know. Check it out. All right, so before I start, I just want to mention a couple of things. One, your first sergeant in your AGR is not part of your chain of command. So if you already thought that, you owe me a dollar. And number two, to assure you that I'm not talking shit, just check out the links in the descriptions where I put all the resources you need to continue researching this topic. So now let's get started. Chain of command. Your chain of command is exactly that. The chain that has command authority over you. That command authority in the military derives from the President of the United States. Now in a National Guard, on regular drill status, that command authority is derived from the governor of your state. So before I go any further, I want to take this time for you to go ahead and talk to your battle buddy about this, if you're watching this with someone, and discuss with each other where your chain of command is from an individual soldier up to your state governor. And if you're watching this by yourself, go ahead and just jot it down and let's compare notes later. Meanwhile, I'm going to sit here and go over some important military emails. Oh shit. Yeah, buddy. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, cool. You ready? All right, from your state governor on regular drill status, you report to your state commander who is your adjutant general. Yeah, that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that one. That one right there. That guy. State commander, the tag, Roger. Now, if you belong to a state who has one of the National Guard divisions and you belong to a traditional BCT, the next in line will be the division commander. From the division commander will be your brigade commander. From your brigade will be battalion commander. From your battalion will be a unit commander. Now from there, this is where most people get it wrong. So I'll stop right there. You go ahead and compare your notes with your battle buddies or maybe just jot it down. And then I'll get back to that. Now let's switch over to your NCO support channel. Your NCO support channel is just that. It's the channel that supports you. They're in no way, shape or form in your command structure, but they work concurrent with and subordinate to the chain of command. Hence why the organizational commander and the senior enlisted advisor are considered the command team. Now this channel was unofficial until 1977 when this reference came out, where it formalized the NCO support channel. Since the NCO derived the authority from the chain of command, at the very top, it's exactly the same, your state governor. From your state governor, it'll be your state sergeant major. From your state sergeant major, it'll be your division sergeant major. From your division sergeant major, it'll be your brigade sergeant major. From your brigade sergeant major, it'll be your battalion sergeant major. Then to the company first sergeant, and then, where most people get it wrong. From your company first sergeant, your NCO support channel goes down to your platoon sergeant and your squad leader. And then it stops there. Oh, shit. Technically speaking, the team leader is not on the NCO support channel, but in practice, he's very much involved in your business since he or she should be the first ones to know and deal with your problems in order to resolve it. Now going back to the cock. Now last I stopped at the company commander level. From your company commander, next in your chain of command is your platoon leader. And then from your platoon leader, he's actually your squad leader. The squad leader position in the line unit is traditionally considered the best position to have because he or she is part of both your NCO support channel and your chain of command. So that individual is responsible for both individual training and strategic planning for future events. And once again, as with the NCO support channel, your team leader is technically not part of your chain of command. However, in practice, he or she is critical to the mission. Hence why in a traditional infantry line unit, it's considered a fire team because that team leader will be ultimately responsible for directing your fire during a mission. Now you may be asking, where's DXO in all of this? Well, check this out. As you can see in the organizational structure, you have the commander of a unit and the first sergeant that makes up the command team. Although the XO or the operations officer may eventually take command in case something happens to the company commander, as a function and in practice, he's nowhere in your chain of command. In some units where there are no XOs, your headquarters platoon leader functions as both the operations officer and the XO. And as you can see from the company commander, the line goes straight down to the platoon leaders. You may be freaked out about this because you thought the platoon sergeant was in the middle there somewhere. Well, now you know the difference. Now, if you go up from the company commander, you'll notice that the battalion commander has a similar structure. However, the only difference is he has several staff members that makes up the S shops. And depending on the unit, he also has additional officers that makes up the special staff. Now, in future videos, I'll discuss how the S shop functions. But for now, we'll just keep it at that. And remember that your AGR 
He's also your headquarters platoon sergeant. Now on a full-time basis, he wears several hats because he's ultimately responsible to be the official custodian of the armory for the commander. He's also an advisor to the commander and the XO, and he handles all administrative issues that's related to soldier care. If you're watching this during Drill Weekend, go ahead and check me out on Twitter and send me a photo of you in action with the hashtag Drill Weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check me out on parttimefirstsergeant.com and let's continue this conversation. Thank you.